just sit back, relax, and enjoy all of the Disney obscurity. Kim here, and it's just a Disney sort of day. Just the kind of day that it is. I am giving you my top five favorite Disney characters, and I think you're going to be a little surprised at who didn't make the list. Have you got a guess? I bet you have a guess. If this is your first time here, then you don't have a guess and you have no idea what I'm talking about. But you can check out some of my older videos and you'll be like, oh, what? Consider subscribing if you like Disney ramblings. These are my top five favorite Disney characters. Please keep in mind that this ranking order may change at any given moment, hour, second. I'm consistent. Number five, Boo from Monsters, Inc. I am Boo and Boo is me. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a little creeped out when I first saw Monsters, Inc. like opening weekend and I saw myself on the big screen. Even my mom drew the comparison. When I was two, three years old, I was Boo. Dancing around, making up her own songs, totally obsessed with stuff. It's a little bit scary. The similarities are uh, alarming. I don't just love her because she's me, she's also adorable and lovely and smart and fun and I think she's just a cute kid and a great character. One of my favorite things about stories is to see character growth and I feel like Boo had so much character growth which is really really interesting from such a tiny child. How much can a tiny child grow in an hour and a half? Apparently a lot. I think she was a well-rounded character. I think she was an entertaining character and I think she is just wonderful. I love her. I'm not really sure what that says about me since I think that we're basically the same person. Is this narcissistic? I don't know. Number four, Mufasa from The Lion King. Mufasa is wise and caring and generous and such a fantastic leader and king. I just think he is so cool. Not only is he a beloved leader and a wonderful, wonderful just soul inside. He's a really great dad. There is something about really great parents in movies that just make my heart go all a flutter. Mufasa is without a doubt a fantastic father. It totally doesn't hurt that he's voiced by James Earl Jones. Let's just be real. I love Mufasa for his wisdom. I love Mufasa for his generous, kind heart. And I love Mufasa for his parenting skills. Number three, Flower from Bambi. I love this stupid little skunk so much. I don't think I can convey how endearing I find Flower. I think he is so sweet and adorable and a good little friend. When he's hibernating in the winter and you see his little feet, like my heart just melts every time. I will watch that movie just for Flower. I think he is so charming and so just adorable and precious and I want to snuggle him. I don't even care if he stinks. Like, I don't care at all. I bet he doesn't stink. I bet he smells like flowers? Number two, good old Pluto. I love Pluto for reasons. Not only is Pluto a great dog and an awesome best friend to have, I just know Pluto on a level that most people cannot claim. I spent a very, very sweltering, sweaty, hot summer with Pluto at Disney World, hanging out. Do you get what I'm saying? Watch this video if you have no idea what I mean. Spoiler alert, I used to work at Disney World. Yes, I am very well acquainted with Pluto. I know his character very well, and I love his character. I think he is so much fun and so entertaining, and I think that he's just one of those classic characters whose heart is in the right place. I love how that gets him into trouble. His character is just this dog that is devoted to Mickey Mouse, but also curious and also fun-loving and also a little, you know, a bit of a troublemaker sometimes. I love him. I think he's fun and I think he's sweet and I think he's adorable. And I love that he's named after a planet. Planet. I think that's kind of why I defend the planethood of the planet Pluto. I'm just making all sorts of connections today. And my number one favorite Disney character, Drizella from Cinderella. Yes, Cinderella's very incredibly misunderstood stepsister. The one with the green bow in her hair. I love her. I love her so much. Mainly for the same reasons I love Pluto. 
if you know what I mean. I think this lady has her priorities straight. I think that she just understands that marriage is a contract and it is about money. No, I do not treat my own marriage as such. I'm just saying it's not a bad strategy. I think Drizella and her sister Anastasia are incredibly misunderstood. I think that she has a fantastic style and I think that she just knows what life is about. Life is about feeling good and being happy and getting what you want. That sounded better in my head. I like that Drizella's favorite color is green. I can relate to her because she has a sister who is just always there and always in your face. And growing up, that is a major pain in the behind. I guess I just understand Drizella on a level that no one else will. She's a cool dude. Like, let's be honest. Those are my top five favorite Disney characters. Please let me know in the comments if you have a sort of obscure Disney character that you think is incredibly underappreciated and doesn't get nearly enough love. I have a million of them and I really tried to narrow it down. These were today's five, but you know, that could change in an hour. I'm sure you noticed Captain Hook was not on this list and that is not because I have any less love for him. I just think there are much better adaptions of Captain Hook than the animated version in Disney's Peter Pan. He knows I still love him. His feelings aren't hurt. Don't you worry. Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. It is all over the place. Thanks for watching!